Welcome to Christ Center Gamers Unboxing of a product that I'm very excited about. Now this is the first time we've gotten to review an IFI product. Uh, this is the IFI Go Bar. This is what they call an ultra portable DAC, preamp and headphone amp all in one. So a DAC or a digital audio converter is exactly what it sounds like. It's a digital audio converter. Now you actually already, almost every modern piece of electronic that has a headphone jack or an audio out has a digital audio converter built into it. Uh, what makes this one special is that it's very small and ultra portable. It's meant to connect to a cell phone or a laptop or any other device with a USB port. And it has a very powerful headphone jack. Um, actually two of them, as I'll go into in a minute. Um, it's also high-res audio supported, as you can see on the logo in the corner. So uh, here's just part of the box. All right, here's what the other side of the box looks like. You can see it's got buttons, which you might not be able to tell here. Uh, this other side is some of the logos that they advertise. So um, balanced performance, fully balanced. That means that the, um, the, the, it has not just a regular headphone jack, but also a balanced jack. Um, I'll go into that more in a few minutes, but that's something that allows your headphones to have higher quality signals. Some people think it's not really important, but there's something to it. All right, XSpace uh, is, is, a, is a, a proprietary algorithm to IFI, where they basically intend to, attempts to simulate the sound field to be larger than it would be otherwise. MQA is high-res audio streaming. If you have a title uh, subscription, for example, uh, you might use MQA. It's really not that important, in my opinion, for people who own their own dot libraries, whether digital or physical. You're, you're not going to buy a CD with MQA on it. It's just, it's just not an issue. Um, it's, it's only, and there's honestly a lot of controversy on whether MQA is valuable. The way it does its folding is questionable in audiophile circles, but it's better than MP3 compression. There's no doubt about that. So it's just whether or not it's worth it. Uh, and then XBase Plus, which is an analog base boost. Sometimes they'll have digital EQ, but this one has an analog base boost, which I'm not a huge fan of base boost, but there are use cases for it. And I'll go into that in a few minutes. All right. So this says it's top of the line USB model in IFI's Go series. I'll show you the back of the box. Let's see if we can actually get really focus for you. Okay. You can see there's quite a few specs listed. Uh, features, pocket size, high res USB DAC and headphone amp and preamp. True balanced circuit design with symmetrical twin channel output stage. Again, I'll get into that in a minute. Advanced high res digital audio support. So 32 bit, uh, 384 kilohertz PCM, which is the best you can do for PCM pretty much. Native DSD, which is also great for those who own DSD uh, uh, audio files. And uh, full MQA decoding for streaming. Uh, it's got four digital filter options, XBase and XSpace, uh, which you can so you can tailor the sound to suit your preferences, which is great. Um, IE match and turbo power tuning, perfect output matching for sensitive earphones or power hungry headphones. So pretty cool there. Uh, two ultra low noise headphones outputs. So this is where it gets into the balance versus not quite balanced. So it calls itself 4.4 millimeter fully balanced, which is fully balanced, I'll explain that in a minute, versus 3.5 millimeter S balance, basically balanced up until the plug. Um, robust and lightweight alloy enclosure, aluminum, I think, alloy, I don't know. Uh, and a leather travel case included. So yeah, all right. Um, as you can see here, it's got uh, quite a bit of power output, a very good SNR and DNR, so basically noise and distortion rates are excellent. Um, so yeah, this is very exciting. I'm really looking forward to this. So, and 12 month warranty through the year, which is great. Let's go ahead and open this up. We've got, all right, I'm trying to figure out how to do this without breaking the box. Got it seems to be in good shape. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull this out right here. Okay, so in the box there's the DAC itself, which we'll get to in just a moment. We've got some, this box wasn't sealed, but that's fine. All right, we've got the uh, IFI sticker right there. Okay, we've got IFI warranty card, way to register your warranty. This is the Go Bar, I'm assuming the quick guide. You know, so it's got all the different 
here's the different settings and what the you know the labels look like for more information on the back I'm assuming this again the quick start guide or a reference card of sorts and here's the inside as well so you can see all the different things that it supports and all the different spe 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 yeah, specifications <laughs> uh, for people like us who really love their audiophile stuff specs are like bread and butter to us so all right let me go ahead and Here's the DAC itself. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And uh, before we get into that, oh, it's got a little thank you sticker. And here's some silica gel for those who like to eat. Go ahead and open the back. So we've got this guy right here, which is the leather case for the DAC, which is awesome. Oh, that's interesting. Those are pretty cables. Okay, so we've got two sets of cables. The lightning cable, which I will never use. So this is the only time you will ever see me with a lightning cable in my hand. I'm not an Apple guy. And a very nice looking USB cable with an adapter on the end for a mic, USB A. Pretty cool. So, this is how you connect to your phone or a Mac, I suppose. And this is how you connect it to your computer with the old style USB ports. Really neat looking cable, nice fab uh, fabric wrap covering, all that kind of good stuff. And then this is a, a nice leather sheath. Oh, it's actually got a belt loop so if you want to connect this to your belt that's funny there's the ifi logo right here i don't know if you'll be able to see that but there it is and it's got a button a magnetic button and here is a little piece of styrofoam to hold it open and i'm guessing it has room for the cable so it's got two little pouches on the inside so if i put it there we go and you can see there you got a spot for the deck and cable and whatever else you need right there and the magnetic button which holds it closed right there Pretty nice, it's a really small pouch. All right, well, let's go ahead and take this guy out of the bag. Look how little that thing is, my goodness. All right, now the colors makes this hard to actually show on camera. It says here, Go Bar IFI high res Audio. So the, the labels are really hard to see. Uh, we've got just a QR code on the side. You can see there. We've got the buttons and a power or function button on the side. I'm not sure if it's power or function. Okay, that's it. And you can see it's got the switch on the bottom. This says IE match for off or on or off and then 4.4 or 3.5, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, here's the USB port on the bottom. Pretty solid, nice quality. Um, now these are gonna be extremely hard for you to see. Actually, it's hard for me to see. <clears throat> these are all the status lights different frequency ranges 44 versus 48 88 96 uh, 176 192 kilohertz or 352 384 it's also got different DSV modes and QA and then X base and X base plus I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you that if you can see it there you go I think I'll be able to get the light so you can see that all right and then last but not least are the headphone jacks on the bottom go there we go so there's two for a reason one is the 3.5 millimeter this is a standard headphone jack so i'm going to go ahead and show you a pair of my headphones so i have several headphones i intend to review with this thing or i'm sorry to review on this thing okay uh, first is my mono price m1060 planar headphones they're very nice they're kind of beat up they've had a lot of love as you can see we use them for a long time and this is the standard 3.5 millimeter jack on them and that goes right in this port right here okay and this port the black one and there it is right now balanced is where you actually so i bought some cables just for this review because i knew that i would need balanced cables for this in order to be able to truly review this so you've got the unbalanced and the balanced connector so the difference between the two I will show you with this cable. This is a very fancy cable I ordered on Amazon, but okay, this 3.5 millimeter cable, this is a 4.4 millimeter cable. So if you can see it closely, you can see that there's four bands and, and then technically five, but you only really use four on this case versus the two plus one or three on this guy. Right, so on this one, left, right, and then ground. On this one, left, positive left negative right positive right negative and i don't think the fifth one's used could be ground i don't think it's used so what's different about this is that each channel 
gets their own set of connectors all the way to the tip instead of a shared ground like this. This ground on this guy, I'll show you, goes is the same connection between these two right here on the, on the, on the base. Okay, and then the tip is the signal for left to right. Um, now, I have not actually tested this cable with these headphones. I bought a stereo pair because they were a lot less expensive than the ones with this exact pinout. It may work based on what I was reading. I'll find out if I bought the wrong cable. This is life. I also intend to test this amplifier right here with these headphones. Now, these are Atomotic ER4 S, uh, ER4SRs. These are famous, infamous, whatever you want to call it, for extremely high detail and not very much bass, but they are incredibly good quality, very, very low distortion earphones in ear monitors. They go in like this. Um, now, the thing about this is it also comes with standard 3.5 millimeter plug, and I also intend to compare it with this balanced cable. So they use what you call, uh, here's the 4.4 millimeter end, same layout as before. And these headphones use what they call MMCX connectors. So if I take this end off right here, okay, you can see this funky little, you might not be able to see it in the camera there, funky little connector, which this, and you can see, whoop, you can see it came off the earbud right here. And this is the same kind. So, and it just fits right here. So that'll be my intention is to test primarily with these two earphones, but I also have an electrostatic pair, Koss, ESP95X, um, and so many other headphones, probably these as well. Uh, these cost about six, that I modded the dickens out of. These guys right here, this is not a stock cable. <laughs> um, not a lot of these is stock, actually. The earpods, ear pads have been replaced. I did some internal dampening with them all kinds of stuff, but these are really well known to be very inefficient and needing a good amplifier. So I will be testing with these as well. And also, just so you guys know, I'll be comparing it against my little Seamoy tin amplifier, probably not you know, close to the power of this thing, but also this guy, the most one of the most powerful amplifiers you can buy. It's actually a desktop amplifier that has a headphone jack and it goes up to 50 watts, which is kind of insane. So, all that to say that uh, this is going to be a fun review. I get to play with lots of toys, and I get to test out how this works against all different kinds of headphones and compare it against other amplifiers and all kinds of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to this, and uh, I will give you far more information in the final written review, but uh, I hope you look forward to it. I certainly do. Take care, and God bless you all. Have a great night.